up, 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 up. I think, I think the 12 weeks um, has been good. Um, I'm, I'm not sad that it's been so cold in April um, because I think people would be itching to get outside more and because April was so cold, um, you know, it's, it's kept people's interest in the program longer. Um, and it'll end in a, a few weeks, you know, the end of May. Um, so I think the timing is right. Um, if we, if we do it again, I'd like to do something right away when school starts in September, maybe another 12 weeks, and then something right away after the holidays, again, another 12 weeks then. Yes, a few of my coworkers and I, we've talked about, you know, continuing something in the summer. Uh, I think just having those conversations are good. Um, motivation from other people and also motivating other people to do so. Uh, and we've talked about um, getting involved either here at, a, at a, another gym or something like that. So some type of way to do it with other people and to keep each other motivated about it. Keep your abs tight while you do those push-ups, just like you were bored. I feel like I've been real successful. Um, so far I've lost 34 pounds in the process. Um, that really is pretty much where my goal is at. I thought 35 would be um, kind of the high-end goal. I wanted to set it high. I wasn't sure I'd be able to do that, but um, it's been a steady weight loss and it's been very good. And, and I'm exercising a lot more than I did before and feeling good when I'm doing it. Tall, squat, tall, one more squat. Tall. It's been a great springtime shape up. I've, um, you know, I feel like I'm getting stronger, and I'm a jogger, but I sort of pack it in for the winter. So um, I'm feeling like I'm more ready and stronger, and my stamina is built up a little, so that um, I can get outside and get jogging. And I'll continue to do the strength exercises that uh, I've been learning and practicing too. Um, I think I've learned some uh, nutrition tips and, and about some healthier ways of eating. Okay, blueberries. How many of you eat blueberries every day? Good, good. These guys are really, I call them, <laughs> what's so funny, what? what? Every day. <laughs> you know, you should do them every day. I'm telling you, I go to these conferences and the people who do research on blueberries, they're eating them every day. So that's telling me there must be something there that's worthwhile. They call them brain berries. They protect your brain from oxidative stress and they can reduce the effects of Alzheimer's and dementia. They're still doing research with this, but the results are not totally in, but they're pretty positive with that. So, yeah. Mm. Now those crackers. These are amazing. You like those? You can get those at, they have them, I think they have them at Sendix and they have them at the Outpost and I believe yeah. they have them at Thick and Save. Those, that's what I'm talking, when I'm talking about whole grain, that's what I mean. It's going back to the old days and it's, it's getting bacteria, the good bacteria back in the system. And this one that we brought is um, flavored as Mexican. And what you do is you take this Mexican one, mix it with a little salsa, and you can eat it with blue chips. When they first came in, it was all about weight loss. Everybody was real concerned about weight loss. And uh, it's very interesting to me that um, people in the beginning, they think they know what good food is. And everybody does generally. Everybody knows pretty much what good food is. But the problem is that in today's market, there are so many choices out there and so many things that are that are pretending to be healthy but really aren't, that you almost need to be, you almost need a road map. And so we started from there, talking about what's available out there, what the good, bad, and the ugly is, and kind of putting the whole idea of weight loss behind. Because I feel, um, as I said here in the beginning, I feel that to concentrate on weight, you can become obsessed with this one thing. It's really about being healthy. 
And good nutrition, I believe, is the cornerstone of good health. That is the cornerstone of good health, is putting the right fuel in your machine. And if you do that, if you make the healthy choice every single time, you will lose the weight, you will have more vitality, you'll have the energy to burn, everything, you'll even be happier, you'll, your mood will be enhanced. But you have to kind of give up the idea of, I have to fit into this dress or do just this or that. Because all of that will happen if you just do the right thing. And I think that that's one of the things that we've driven home here the most. And I think that a lot of, I think most of these people are really catching on.